Thank you very much for your time. Um, we start with the first question I've had. Um, you had to postpone your tour three times. I'm happy to now be back on stage. Yeah, so happy. Come on. Um, you know, this was one of the highlights of my tour in 2020. Um, and we've had to wait two years to do it. But very excited to be back. So it's uh, it's maybe packed with full of emotions or stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is a venue I've played before. It's a venue I've uh, talked about as one of my favorites. Um, the Zurich audience are, are really original and have their own character that I love. Um, and it's a home concert for me because I live down the road. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so you know, so really excited to be back. Um, you say it's a venue you've played before. Um, what's it like to play for you at the Holland Stadion? Is it uh, the bigger the better or do you like the small venues as well? You know what? I love the change and I love the difference. I played in Verbier last night to what felt like maybe just a hundred people, um, and there's a great energy, um, and uh, and that's and you can see the whites of everyone's eyes, and that's really fun, uh, an intensity to that. But then there's you know a bigger venue like this with with tens of thousands instead of uh, of a smaller number is uh, is a very different experience. Um, and you know I love this venue because they're standing on the floor and they're seated on the sides, young in the floor and old on the <laughs> round the edges, uh, and it. it gives a very different atmosphere and, and a different sound to listen to um, and a bigger stage to play on um, and yeah and for me this will be a real highlight but your music is packed with f many emotions so is it is it more difficult to control the crowd a little bit if it's the bigger or is it maybe a little bit um, easier to control the crowd when the, when well, the area you know is small I don't know if you've been to a concert of mine before but um, but I have a band who are much more rock and roll than me um, and they turn you know my songs that you might have heard into much more upbeat up tempo songs and so you know sure I have some quiet gentle moments of like Goodbye My Lover or, or a song called Monsters and those are delicate moments but the the concert itself through the band that I use is you know is up tempo is full of energy and, and they almost make me rock and roll not quite Maybe just soft rock. Do you have a special moment in Switzerland, or a special story which is uh, as, which gives you the really strong connection to Switzerland? Yeah, I live here, um, uh, and uh, so um, I, I definitely enjoy the place. Um, uh, and uh, you know, it, I've called it home for many, many years. I, when I became a musician, I always told people that one day I will live in Switzerland, um, really? and it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And so to get in my car and drive here today, um, uh, to have all my friends and my family coming here tonight is this is my home concert. Cool. Um, let's go back to the music. What's your most streamed artist on Spotify? My most streamed. Um, I, I'm I'm not on Spotify. I still use cassettes. Really? Yeah. Okay, Spotify is nothing for you. No app download. I'm nothing. just learning. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> learning. Um, what What are your feelings if you hear maybe or hear a new song of uh, let's say Ed Sheeran or Passenger? Um, if you hear these songs the first time, is it sometimes that you think, oh, damn, have to be my idea or? Not really. I mean, I think, you know, um, I know Ed well and we've, we've toured together and he's been in my house and played me Shape of You and I thought, damn, you know, <laughs> okay, you kind of nailed it. But I don't want to write that song. That's his song and, you know, I, I've, I write my own. And, and, and as I say on my last album, the song called Monsters for My Father is, is everything. The, the song that I want to write for him and, and, and sing to him to explain how I feel. Um, so I, I can be inspired and, uh, and in awe of other songwriters, but I don't want their songs. I want to write my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. You said you live in Switzerland, but you live in Ibiza as well. Yeah, I drift between the two. Winter here in Switzerland and summer in Ibiza. What brought you to Ibiza? Ibiza? Yeah. I like nightclubs. Really? Yeah. Okay. So and you're the party animal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know my music's a little more delicate than that, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm a raver. You have a very famous track together with Robin Schulz called OK. Yeah. Um, it's known, I think, for, for ages and in the future as well. How does collaborations of, like let's say artists with uh, Robin, like Robin Schulz, how, how did these collaborations come together? Is it because you like doing party as well and the electronic tunes or? It was a coincidence really. Um, I wrote the song, I recorded the song and I hated it. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy how it sounded. I didn't enjoy its depth of meaning. You know, I'm the guy who wrote You're Beautiful and I've gone from You're Beautiful just like to then, okay. 
Um, it's not with not much depth and much meaning. And I, and I had an argument with my record company and they said, it's a hit. You have to put it on this album. And I said, no way, I don't like it. And, and I won that argument and I didn't put it on my album. And I said, I never want to hear the song again. And that was that. And then I bumped into Robin, uh, living in Ibiza as you do at a, in a club. And he said, Hey, your record label called me and they've passed me your song called okay. And, and I'm putting it out. And that was a surprise to me. Um, and, and the real surprise was that, you know, it's, it's still my guitar, my piano, my vocal. Vocal, but Robin has put his magic to it and sure enough it's a global smash um, and now uh, t like tonight I have to play that song every bloody day <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day the record label were right and, and thank God for Robin Schultz <laughs> yeah maybe things have to come together yeah um, crazy times right now um, as, as uh, all of us know um, do you think music is the key for peace Well, you know, I don't, I think it takes more than that, potentially, but I think music is a very magical thing. It brings strangers together. And while our politicians try and divide us, music um, and pubs are what I think bring strangers shoulder to shoulder and, and tell us that, you know, you can be Russian and Ukra Ukrainian, um, but the difference in a flag is nothing because in your heart, through human emotion, through music, um, you are one and the same people. Um, if we look a little bit on this on this um, very crazy situation, do you think or do you feel for yourself it's uh, kind of like some freedom moments when you're on stage? You yeah, can, you I can, feel you like... can go out and, and forget about these uh, things you've you've uh, heard in the media and stuff like that. I mean, it's not something that troubles me necessarily as I go on stage, but there's a huge freedom as you step up onto a stage like that because, you know, I'm, I'm standing in front of strangers. They're strangers standing shoulder to shoulder, um, different nationalities, uh, different, you know, colors, um, different sex and... Uh, and And with all that difference, you stand there on the stage and express who you are. Um, it's like removing, you know, your clothes in many ways, exposing yourself. Um, and, and it's a, a wonderful liberation to do that. But it's, uh, but it's you know, huge, uh, hugely cathartic to say this is who I am, my frailties, my failings, my flaws. Um, but that's, you know, without fear. It's quite a, it takes quite a sense of courage, bravery to do that. But it's really the magic and the reward is that the audience stand there and, and connect with you, saying, yeah, they feel the same way. Um, that humans, no matter where we are from, feel the same way. And, and that's why I love music quite so much. There's no distance in between, even if you're on stage or they're standing yeah, in the Yeah, exactly. Crowd, yeah. And, you know, I'm not given a stage because I'm any greater than any person. I'm given a stage because I'm not very tall so they can see me. Um, uh, but it's from that stage we find connection. You said um, music is the key for people and pubs and you own a pub in london i do was it a dream of you when you were a little kid no i need to have this i want to be the, the bartender <laughs> absolutely not never um it's just a coincidence um I just uh It's a, a, my local pub. I've been in there many times. I'd, uh, I thought it was pretty terrible. Um, but we had a dream for how it could be if someone gave it some love. And then it came up for sale. And I thought, you know what? Uh, this is probably my job now. It was, some people were trying to turn it into a houses, into apartments. And I thought, I'm a, I'm, I'm a minor pop star. My job is to save it and keep it as the pub, the 170-year-old pub that it has been um, for the future. I've uh, read in the newspaper, <laughs> someone uh, wrote it down, that if you like that the people go out of your pub, you play your own songs. No, I think <laughs> in the license, in the law, we're not allowed to have my music played. <laughs> a apart from five minutes before closing time, we put on your beautiful to get people to leave. Ah, okay, okay, then they were a little bit different. Um, I have something prepared. It's uh, uh, kind of a play like Summer or Winter. Okay. And you, uh, it's could, a choice again. You could maybe answer it. It's a choice between the two. This is kind of yes, like, like yes. a referendum. Yeah, maybe only one thing and not something in between. <laughs> okay. Go so for let's, it. So let's go with beer or red wine? I'll go for beer. Pop or club? My favorite thing is a beer shampoo, in fact. Beer shampoo? Yes, a beer shampoo. Very healthy for you. But it smells, smells ugly in the yeah, mouth. Yeah, it smells <laughs> great to me. Um, but yeah, beer. Beer. Okay. Pop or club? Ooh, it's a hard one. I'll go for club. Really? Yeah, I think I, you know, I really enjoy getting into a, in a gritty club. Get wasted. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> no need. <laughs> Ibiza or Verbier? Well, because I'm talking to you, I'm going to say Verbier. <laughs> Summer or winter? Because I'm with you, I'm going to say winter. <laughs> breakfast or dinner? I don't have breakfast, so let's go for dinner. Ed Sheeran or passenger? I, I, I sleep with Ed Sheeran. <laughs> piano or guitar? Well, I love the piano. It's a beautiful instrument, but more than an instrument, it's like a piece of furniture in a room, but it is hard to travel with. So if I'm on tour, I'll go for a guitar. <laughs> you're beautiful or high? Um, uh, you're beautiful. Made me 
more money. <laughs> was it was it your your intention to be a big artist like that? It's always a standard uh, question, but I think things happen, like you say. Okay, was a was a track was never really in in, in your yeah. thoughts. But, I um, never expected uh, it to it to hit. You're beautiful, and my first album back to Bedlam to hit. I thought it would have some connection with people. I thought people would connect with it, but I thought maybe, you know, number two in the charts. <laughs> Where, uh, and so when I got to number one, that was definitely a surprise. And in many ways, I w it, it was a fear as well. I thought I was just going to be treated as, as a musician. And when it went to number one, I, I was here in Switzerland. I was about to play the Moon and Stars Festival, supporting Jamiroquai. And my first words were, fuck, you know, like life is going to change um, because I'm not going to be treated as a, as a musician. I'm going to be treated as a pop star, as a celebrity. And the thing you know they're going to come from this of fame which which are not things i was pursuing and and so i was a bit i was nervous of that definitely uh so but you know you learn to deal with them yeah, and really. there's some and there's some there's some fun parts of it too if we two would drive through zurich with a car and your music was on a different radio channel maybe on radio top what would you do if you and i were in the car and it change came on the radio the channel or i put promise it out you i would change it really, really? <laughs> yeah definitely You want to turn it up? Oh, no, you can turn it up then. That's fine. We'll turn it up. No, 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 I won't change it. If you want me to, I'll turn it up then. Really? You don't yeah. listen to your own songs in the car? I try not to listen to any music. Really? No. Except the music on your cassettes. Just exactly. <laughs> very peace and quiet. Just the sound of your voice. Thank you very much. Bitte schön. Bitte schön. Danke schön. 